Hello. Wait, there we go. It's better. Oh, and I'm looking at myself in, the, in a weird way. Anyway, it's about 7 p.m. And I have just gotten home from work. It is, it's a Friday. It looks so bright in here, but it's so not. And I really want to paint that fan white. And I want to paint the other really ugly chandelier white. But I'm just checking in to show you guys this lipstick. You saw this in the last vlog. I don't even know. I actually didn't even plan on vlogging, but I was like cleaning out my purse and I put the lipstick in there. Um, I put it on about 7.30 this morning and it is seven o'clock at night and it still looks pretty good. I did not have like a proper lunch. Like I ate food, but I didn't have like soup or salad or like a hot meal with a spoon, I guess. That's what I equate to what a meal is. I'm really tired. Um, but I don't have to work this weekend, so we'll see what kind of videos we can get done for you guys. I need to not vlog like this because I keep because the viewfinder is over here, so I can't like look here like I normally would. All right, just check in a few seconds. Um, it's Saturday. I don't have to go to work. I'm so excited. I did stay until when did I come home yesterday? Like seven ish. I remember because I vlogged a little bit. I don't even know. I don't even remember what I said, but. Okay, so, unboxing. I almost I almost unboxed it, and then I didn't. But I wanted to share um, it with you. This is the third time I'm showing you something like this. I feel like I'm on this quest to, oh God, hair. I don't know if I need to cut it again. I'm trying to wait till it gets really bad so I, we can cut it together and I can show you guys how I cut it, but right now okay. it's like. So, this is the third. Prada wallet, I think. Let's see if this is the one. I feel like, well, we'll explain it later. So, cute little tissue. Not cute, but anything that has that logo is like great. We got this. Just get that out. Let's just open everything. Okay, so, this is what it looks like. Then you have a zipper, There's two tabs. So the first tab, you open it up, two flaps here, I'm guessing that's for your checkbook, and then there's nothing there, there's a slot here, and then how many card slots, this is my issue, one, two, three, six card slots there, and then you have your zipper thing, and then you have another tab, and then, oh, okay, that's not a slot either, and then six more tabs. Now, let me show you the ones I had before this. I literally have bought this other one. Is it this one? Yeah, I bought this one sometime last year. Was it last year that I showed this to you? I think I unboxed it too, and I used it once. Actually, I didn't even use it. I like filled it with stuff, and then I was like, oh my god, I can't use this. Um, because I have too many credit cards. Yes, that might be the problem. So, this comes in the box and everything. I still have like, <laughs> pretty much, every I mean, I. I filled it and then I unfilled it and then I just like kind of left it for dead. Um, so this one, let, let me show you this. It's not that big of a difference. Um, here, like maybe like that. You're getting a little like, I don't know, 25% more wallet in this one. But my issue for this is I have a lot of cards. So here you have this flap and you have like this section, but I'm not really gonna put cards here. And then this thing is really nice because you can put a lot of change and receipts and then here you have another like flap tab what snap that's the word I'm looking for and then you have one two three four like four places for cards and then this thing which you could put a card but if you put like more than one card it just basically I have too many cards and then there's the billfold which is nice so this is gonna go on the blog sale should be in the blog store or you can email me or I'll just link it below or I'll take pictures and put it on the blog set. I'm not sure. I haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet. Um, but I'm very excited for this new one <laughs> because there's literally, what, 12 places for cards. And then if I really needed to add, like, sometimes I have, like, gift cards. I can put that in, like, this big slot. So I'm excited. Zippers. Okay, this is, like, a weird pet peeve, and I might be completely crazy, but let me know if you guys feel the same way. I only like snap button wallets and kind of like ones that just fold. Mm, I don't like zippers. Like the when there's like a zipper all the way through, I don't know, maybe, like when you're at the register paying, you're like zip, zip, zip. Like I don't, <laughs> am I crazy? I just, that like, it's like a weird pet peeve. I'm like, that's so annoying. Okay, then the other thing is, this is more of like an actual pet peeve, is like, if you have a zipper wallet, well, any wallet looks 
tacky if you overfill it but when you have a zipper it's almost because you have a zipper you can like force it shut you know like when you over pack your luggage and you can like force it to shut with the zipper i feel like when you have a wallet especially here's the thing when you have like a nicer wallet you don't want to overstuff it it just totally ruins like a the money you spent on it for it to look really beautiful um i don't know i'm going off on tangents here but i'm very excited to use this wallet um maybe this is the one i think this is the one the final Prada Safiano leather wallet. Lastly, should I share this new kimono robe with you? It's so pretty. It's from Forever 21. More like Japanese type vibes. Let me kind of adjust it properly for you. Um, it does kind of have that drop sleeve, but not huge. It's in, this is like a slit, both slits. It's not um, one of those huge, beautiful sleeves. I kind of want a robe like that, but I haven't found one that I really like. I've seen a lot that I like the style but i didn't like the print um and even this one is a bit of a departure for me but i kind of saw it on the on the website and i really liked it it goes a little bit past knee length on me and i'm um five one and three quarters okay so um i don't know what i did this morning i spent all morning <laughs> creating the description box for the vlog you watched last week um Usually I have it done by Friday, like afternoon-ish, or even Friday night, but because I was at work, this morning I woke up at like, maybe like 7, like naturally. I wasn't like, I'm going to set an alarm and do my description box, but like, um, if anything, the vlog just goes up later, but I woke up and I was like, ugh, grabbed a cup of coffee and sat in front of the computer. I don't know why last week's description box took so long. Maybe I talked about too much stuff. <laughs> I showed this gloss to you guys in the last... In the last vlog, I showed this one and then the purple one. This one is called Spicy Crush and then the purple one is called Midnight Star. I'm going to show you guys Midnight Star. I actually like Midnight Star more than I like this one, which is so... I mean, generally, I go for like more nude colors. Uh, even with the e.l.f. lip oils, the coral was okay, but I really liked the berry one. Okay, so I've had this lip on since like morning, but um, we'll give you another better look. Uh, this has been on since, when did I put it on? Maybe around 10, and right now it's 3. Okay, so it hasn't lost, um, it has lost some of its gloss, because this is very glossy, but it hasn't lost like full on the glossiness of it. Guys, do you see the iridescence in here? Sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's this magenta. This is like sunset in a tube. When you put this on your lips, shows up exactly the same. Gorgeous, huh? This has been on for, I don't know, what, five hours? Let me tap it in so I can show you what it looks like, how I wear it, like when I'm just wearing it regularly. Can you guys see the shift? It's still there. It's not as obvious as the purple one. I'll show you the purple one later on in the vlog. It is so pretty though. You can see the orange and you can see the pink or the fuchsia. Well, it's more pink now, but now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like um, full on. Do you guys see that? The duochrome? And we're gonna try to do the top. Oh my god, this is so hard without a mirror. I brought a lip liner with me just in case, but I think I think we'll be okay. Do you guys see this? This is what it. Ooh, <laughs> I tried to put my elbow on this and almost fell. This is what it looks like full on. Do you guys see this? how pretty this is like if I were just gonna go out for the night or like I wasn't gonna be like eating I would put it on like this because that's how I would put on any kind of gloss um, but when I know I'm gonna be like out and about eating talking and like it could my hair might stick to it or something like most glosses um, I would tap it in do you guys see this I'll explain that later like isn't that just beautiful I'm gonna give you like a full-on review um, when I show you could do like the makeup breakdown for the week. So stay tuned for that later in this vlog. But 
I just wanted to show you guys this color first because I had it on earlier when I was showing you guys like the wallets. So I figured it'd be a good time to show it again. Okay, so I'm going to have dinner, like early dinner with my parents. Um, there's this restaurant that does Thai food and Japanese food. And that sounds like a recipe for disaster, but we'll see. I, You never know. I feel like ratings on Yelp here are very not good or inaccurate is what I should say. I feel like this place will be 4.8 stars. It'll be amazing. And then I go another place that's like 4.7 stars. Disgusting. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm like lunging towards the camera again. Like, can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Good morning. I look half baked, yeah? Because <clears throat> I've decided, this is done very last minute, to do kind of a mini get ready with me because I was using this palette from Geftobian that I showed you in the last vlog. And I already put some under my brows and I was like, if I'm gonna review this, I need to like properly review it because this is, I review tons and tons of cream bases for you guys all the time, but this one is very different. Obviously everything I always show you is like makeup brands, whereas this is, you know, more of like a pro brand. So here goes nothing. First of all, Vitacrime B12 that I showed you in the last video, love this, and then <laughs> This is dying, can you see? <laughs> the Clarins Super Store of Total Eye Concentrate. Those two are the base. Uh, a lot of you guys in the last video were asking about the Differin Gel, and I thought I had kind of given a mini review on it because when I had shown it maybe a few vlogs ago, it was my second time picking it up, or I was picking up a larger tube. I do love this. I use it on my forehead and on my neck. Um, Mostly at night, but during the day, in the morning when I remember, I'll put it on my neck too. So, I don't know, I really like it. I haven't had any adverse reactions to it. If you are kind of paranoid, sometimes if I feel like my skin is drier, but I still want to use this, I'll pop like this on and put a moisturizer on top of it. Not for the neck though, I feel like the neck... Oh, I hate my necklines. Guys, what should I do, what should I do about it? They're so like, ugh. Okay, also my, my, my hair is like irritating my neck right now, so if it's red, that's why. So that's the skincare. For the primer, I use the Guerlain, the Lore, the gold primer. Uh, I had picked this up late last year, but then obviously in like January, February, the eczema was going a little, I was not using any primer. So when I tested it out originally, I didn't really like it. So today I used it. Do you guys see any big difference? I, I don't, I don't know, maybe this is not for me. It felt really moisturizing and really nice going on, very luxurious. One pump of the La Mer Skin Fluid, in, or the Soft Fluid in Linen. Um, I have NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger on the face, and then uh, Macadamia under the eyes. You know what's so interesting is in the Andrew's vlog last week, he was talking about how he's like, oh my god, I just started using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer again, and why did I stop using it? Uh, same. I had all three colors on my vanity, because the original goal was like, I have these, I need to use them up. But then the more, like, in the process of using them, I was like, why did I stop using these? These are so good. So I had custard out, and I had ginger, and I had macadamia. Macadamia is like a newer shade, um, and I really like it. I like it over custard. Custard is lighter on the under eyes, and I used to try to use it, but I wasn't super in love with it. Um, you guys know I don't go for like the brighter under eye. I just want everything to blend in So I just like my makeup to always look like that. I don't want any like oh my god her eye makeup Oh my god her I just want everything to just look pretty. I don't want anything to stand out in particular I know that's a little weird, but that's my preference So I think custard is already in the empties bin So I use that one up and then right now just ginger is almost gone pretty much and I have another ginger that's probably almost gone and then macadamia is just much newer. I picked this up late last year so I've been enjoying it a lot. For the brows we have the Black Up Matte Waterproof Brow Powder Gel in 02 and then the Benefit Precisely My Brow in 06. So that's that. I feel like this brow is darker but you know what? I have like my vanity lights on over here and on this side I tried to balance out the room. I have like different lights that not, are not as intense so I feel like this side is darker. And then lastly, this is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. This is in like deep brown. I use this pretty often, I just forget to share it. Uh, if you are like me and you generally have to draw in a lot of your brows, something like this really helps, like after you're done drawing your brows in, use something like this to kind of bring the hairs back to the surface, you know what I mean? I love it. 
Um, so someone like me can thoroughly enjoy something like this. This is kind of what the wand looks like. It's a very, very short um, plastic brush. And you just sweep it through. If you have more brows, you can just sweep it through, you know, the like this, what do you call this part? The front of your brow to make the brow stand up. Um, when in January, we were in LA. Andrew used, as you guys know, Andrew has like great brows. So he just like swept this through his brows and I was just like, oh, so they can look even better, like great. But this is something I feel like men and women should have. It just, it looks better. <laughs> and then to set the under eyes, I use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. This stuff is so, so good. Okay, are you guys ready? You guys are ready for this like tutorial? So, like I said, I showed this to you guys in the last vlog. I don't know what I was expecting from this. I thought it'd just be like any other kind of cream base. It's totally not. Okay, so these are the two brushes I usually use for cream contour, cream base, cream bronzer, etc. So I have the Zoeva 110, which looks like this, and the Zoeva 142. So this is face, this is nose. So this is the Graftobian HD Cream Highlight Contour Light Palette. There's also a deep color. And I thought I was like, oh, this is, would use it as like a corrector. No, these are not correctors. These are very highlighty. Um, even when I blend them together, for me, they're a little too light to like con conceal and or correct. Um, so these two shades, I've been obsessing. You can see this one's more bronze and this one is more kind of like a cool toned. Watch this. <laughs> that's the bronze shade and that's the contour shade. This is what they look like on my fingers. Isn't that super, super cool? And then this actually is like a little softer. So I take the more bronzy shade and we go right there. You guys see that? That does not look like bronzer, now does it, at all. But when you blend it out, I have a mirror here. Guys, I literally threw this setup together. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Um, I applaud everybody <laughs> that does tutorials because I am so scared of them. They gave me, they like stressed me out. So do you guys see this as we're blending it out? It like literally creates cheekbones in the most natural way. It's kind of amazing. So like with all cream bases, you do need to spend more time blending it out. And I blend it a little high up because um, I just don't really wear blush, so I like having it there. I'm gonna grab some more of that and then put it on the other side. Do you see how gray it looks? Um, and then we're just gonna blend it out. But like once you blend it out, the grayness disappears and it just kind of blends into your skin. For the longest time, I was aiming, not, it wasn't even specifically aiming, but I was kind of going for somewhere in between my nose and my mouth. And then I was watching a video that Goss Makeup Artist put up and he had Sonia Faiza on there. I can't remember which girl was doing it. I think it was Sonia. Oh no, I think it was Faiza. And I was just watching her sculpt out the face on the model and she kind of went more towards the nose and I was like, I should try that. Because my face is longer, so when I sculpt down, it just kind of makes my face even longer, you know? So I was like watching her sculpt it kind of more towards the nose and I'm like, I'm gonna try that and I've really liked it and I've been doing it ever since. And then take a little bit and we put it on the forehead a little bit. I don't really go necessarily up in the hairline there because I always feel like I have a really short forehead and <laughs> I literally, even when I like shave my face, um, I tend to kind of like shave this area too, just so my forehead looks a little more balanced. And then whatever is left over, I just kind of sculpt into this area. Voila. For under the chin, I kind of blend the two, the contour and the bronzer, and we kind of just go in. You guys see that? You can like really see how sculpted it looks. And then we'll kind of start buffing in the other side. Okay, so we have that kind of sculpted in. I hope I look like there's more structure to my face at this point. Now, this is the 142 from Zoeva, and I don't always um, contour my nose, but for the purposes of this video, I totally will. The formula on these are so thin. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. The formula of these, I'm not nervous because of the products, I'm nervous because I don't usually do this. So I just kind of dot it along really lightly, maybe not that dark right there. 
and then I clean off the brush a little bit like a lot and then start kind of blending it up towards the brow a little bit and then down to the nose kind of like where the nostril ends and then do the same on the other side And then I tend to do the base, but not like specifically. I don't really, I, I like the shape of my nose. I, I literally contour just sometimes just to make it more defined. And then you use a beauty blender to kind of blend it into whatever foundation's already on there. So I hope that everything looks a little more alive and sculpted. I think it definitely does from, I remember what it looked like when it first turned on the camera. So that's that sculpted out. So for these kind of lighter areas, I can use any of these. I use this yellow with an e.l.f. concealer brush and I went under my brow, so I already did that. And then for the center of the nose, I'm probably just going to go in with like both of these. I could use another like more pinpoint concealer brush that I have, but I'm actually just going to use my finger so you guys can see. So I'm just going to put that down the center of the nose. You guys see that? Pretty, yeah? If you have drier skin, definitely make sure you prep your skin properly. Either use a moisturizing primer or like a stronger moisturizer. Because I know when I would use more of like a gel moisturizer, I would see the dryness come through. Because these products are not, they're not dewy. They're like meant to stay on your skin. They're meant to define. So there's that. I could go out like this, but you know I'm gonna put like bronzer on. Like I could really pile this shade on right here and like really have like a nice cream bronzer, but it would look just a little slightly too cool and it would it, it doesn't brighten your skin. This is literally here to sculpt your face and highlight your face. Um, I would also use maybe a little bit of this peachy color like on my chin because I feel like I have a very small chin. I don't mind it. I like that I have kind of like an egg shape, but do you see like it just kind of makes my chin a little more pronounced, which is nice. Balances out the rest of the face. Then lastly, if I were to highlight the cheekbones, I would kind of blend these two shades together and watch this happen, guys. It's like insanely beautiful. Clean off the fingers a little bit. I love using my hands generally for everything. And then we'll blend that in and you guys will see how these cheekbones will just start to pop out. I don't think that there's any kind of like shimmer to these. I think they just like bring out your... Oh, talk properly. They just really kind of sculpt out your face really beautifully. So do you guys see how it just like literally like popped out my cheekbones? like? wow it's like i had like used some kind of like lifting serum i also my overall face looks like sculpted and thinner now okay so now that i officially look like my neck and my face don't match this is the chanel Le beige powder in medium deep in the healthy glow luminous line i showed this to you in the last um video but i wanted to show you guys how it looks before and after this is a wayne goss 13 this is pretty much my go-to bronzer brush so here we go. It's gonna look amazing because we already have that contour down. I have to stop doing that. I keep closing my eyes and I realize I always close this eye when I put bronzer on. I don't know why. And that actually is giving me like one line under the eye that is very unattractive. So like I said, I do bronzer the way people do blunt bronzer and blush, i.e. bronzer. And just a little down here because we are looking like all kinds of colors today so the other side and then again a little bit on the forehead tiny bit whatever is kind of residual So now we're like very bronzy. This light looks so much darker. I'm sorry. I have to figure out the lighting for that side. And then Ulta banana powder to kind of like softly clean up any kind of like, you know. I don't I, I don't like exact lines of demarcation. I know nobody does, but sometimes you really do see it when people try to make their like contour stand out. 
so just kind of buff everything. A little bit about the brows, literally just to set it because I think my forehead can get a little shiny sometimes. Okay, and then this is another step that I don't always do, but this is a Tom Ford number 13. Oh my gosh! My sculpting brushes are both 13. This is 13 from Tom Ford and 13 from Wayne Goss. Oh my god, that's so odd. Okay, so um, grabbing that and then just softly doing that just to make sure everything's kind of bronzy. Okay, always very little here. This brush is so good. I, I feel like I want to pick up another one, but I shouldn't. Although, have you guys heard that Tom Ford is going to be changing out... Um, he's not going to have natural hair brush brushes anymore. Okay, nose is very softly sculpted. Oh my god, there's like so much powder in my hair right now. Okay, last but not least, this is a new item I picked up. It's from Girlactic. It's called Their Skin Glow in the shade Glamorous. I picked it up when I... Forever 21 was doing 21% off their website for like a couple of days or it was like a weekend. And I remember that so many makeup brands have started like selling on Forever 21's website and Girlactic is one of them amongst, I think even Davina Cosmetics. I'm so excited. I just put in a Davina eyeshadow order this morning because they were doing 35% off. Their stuff is so good. I'm so excited that they are on Forever 21. Anyway, this is gorgeous. It's for like the face and the body. Um... Let me do a swatch of it. It's this like pinky, slightly peachy, a little bit of brown at the base, but mostly just a pink, but like more of a mauve. Mauve. Sometimes I literally sound like I was like, have never left Cleveland. This, I think, will look good with a tan. Um, it will look good on people who are definitely medium to tan to dark. I wear it just because... You know, it doesn't necessarily highlight my skin, it just makes it glow, it kind of just blends right in. So pretty. Down the nose. It may or may not have defeated the purpose of using that highlight down there, but I don't care. I just like it to be glowy. I just like my skin to look glowy and healthy and yum. So you guys see, you see the highlight? My God, my cheekbones are like out here today. Wow, okay. So, okay, you guys see this? <laughs> um, I use the Clarins Glow Booster because last week I was just, even just in the past month, I've just been so into like revisiting like my Clarins products. So I started using the Glow Booster, that thing that you add to your moisturizer at night. Ooh. And then in the morning you wake up with a tan. Um, and it was, I looked so tan yesterday, but then I realized that I didn't properly like clean this off. Like I always rinse my hands immediately, but I must have gotten like a nice amount there and like didn't like fully go in there. So that's why that's there. Okay, so then we're gonna finish this off with the Smashbox primer water. This stuff is so good. Okay, the eye makeup for today is the By Terry Bronze Moon in, no, the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon. We have the Sicily eyeliner that I showed you guys in the last vlog. We have the Marc Jacobs Blacker, but this is the fine liner, I think. I use this in the tight line. Bobbi Brown Camel in the crease. Like a go-to, like a forever go-to. Okay, Makeup Forever palette. Andrew got me into these. At first I was using like Z palettes and like the Tarte palettes, but then I was like, no, I want them to be all the same and I want them to have like a very bare look, like a minimalist look. So I love these. These are kind of awesome. They're huge. This is like the largest one I think they do. So today I use Makeup Geek. I use Makeup Geek Brown Sugar, um, Bitten, and Beaches and Cream, I think is the name of it. Something else I want to share with you guys about this palette. It's huge, right? So when you get it, um, it's quite deep, so if you wanted to depot, say, like, baked items that are, like, domed, you could totally pop them in here. And if you don't, i.e. most of us will probably just use, like, single shadows, it comes with, like, a foam piece and a plastic piece. So you can just, like, place it in there this way or place it in there that way to protect it if you were to travel with it. Um, these have a bit of weight to them, but they're also really sturdy, so I love that they give you this option. Like, at home, I'll just leave it like this, but if I were to travel, definitely this would be, like, an absolute must. This is another one that I have filled with the Divina 
eyeshadows. These are Luxie Beauty and these are Davina and I have like a whole slew of Davina. They're so good. I keep telling myself to do some kind of swatch video. They're just, they're amazing. And then I have another one sitting over there with um, colored rain eyeshadows. By Terry Bronze Moon, the Sicily Eyeliner, the Marc Jacobs Liner, Bobbi Brown Camel, Mug, Beaches and Cream, Bitten, and Brown Sugar. All right, last but not least is the lip. Before I put my makeup on, I prepped it with the Sol de Janeiro Lip Butter. That's all we have on the lips right now. I wish there was so much more going on. Okay, so I showed you guys this gloss, the By Terry Spicy Crush, in earlier in the vlog, yesterday actually. Oh my God, I can't get over it. When, the, when I got these glosses and I was like, swatching them and like putting them on my lips. The first thing I did was like text Andrew, like, oh my God, these are so beautiful. I like can't even process. Do you guys see this? So the top is Midnight Star and the bottom is Spicy Crush. And I've just done like a few swipes. You can kind of see how like, no matter whether you have like a light swipe or a heavier swipe, you still get that like duochrome, especially in the, the purple one. Okay, are you guys ready? My cheekbones look insane today. Oh my God, I'm so into this. Okay, the wand on this is amazing because it like holds all the product like in the center of the doe foot. Do you guys see that? This is, oh my God, this is like the perfect gloss to show you guys because you can literally see exactly where the gloss is because, oops, because it's duochrome. Like it holds the gloss like in the center so it does not get goopy. You don't need like a lip liner for this. I love using lip liner with glosses, but today we did not. So let's just see. It's perfect. Even like the very tip of it allows you to line your lips exactly. Are you guys obsessed? I'm so Okay, so that's like one pass. Are you guys, do you not see? You see why I'm obsessed with this, right? Okay, and then. Second layer on the bottom. Second layer on top. This is now, we are at full opacity. Wipe off the top a little, clean it up. Is this not stunning? Have you seen a more like beautifully fun gloss? So the formula is obviously very opaque. Um, when I first got these, I was like, oh, it's like a lip topper kind of thing. I had seen swatches online. Beauty Professor had done a post and I was like, oh my God. I don't know, I want them all. But these are not lip toppers. These are definitely a gloss. You could probably, like if you were to use an orange lip or a red lip, you could probably put this on top, but you, I think essentially would just be seeing this. And the same goes for this. If you were to do a very violet lip um, or a fuchsia lip, you could put this on, but I think at the end of the day, you're just gonna be seeing this because this just like steals the show. This is the first one I put on when I got these in. They were sent by By Terry. By Terry has like the most, I love, whoever is doing their PR, they're awesome. Uh, I'm not saying I work with the most PR companies and or PR people, but I feel like I've worked with enough. By Terry people are the best. Like, I think you, it's so important who you choose to represent you um, to, creators or to influencers or to people who you work with because you could I feel like relationships could easily go sour I've worn this for a full day twice and even like after five hours I still saw the duochrome okay so I've pretty much tapped the whole thing in still beautiful right and you can still see you can still see the duochrome in here. You can still see that like blue. And you know what? I thought these were also gonna be more like metallic, but they dry down, but they don't dry down in the way a metallic lip dries down. Cause I feel like those metallic lips dry down like a liquid lip. And this still feels um, and looks like a lip gloss. Also, some other things to note are the scent. 
I'm not crazy about it. It does go away. Not my favorite. Andrew loves it. It also, once it's dried, after you know like gloss is dry and you get that weird thing, that inner ring in your lip, this doesn't do it. It just like literally dries. So this is the look for today. What do you guys think? Do you guys want more kind of like get ready with me type videos? I feel like this setup actually kind of works. I definitely need to work on the lighting, but having a mirror here, oh my God, I have to share this mirror with you. It's kind of dirty. Do you see how huge this mirror is? I picked it up off of um, Amazon because I noticed that the standard mirror kind of goes like maybe to here on any kind of vanity table and when you're I feel like by the by the time I was done with my makeup my back has been in this kind of like hunched position for so long that it would hurt and I have a very sensitive back because I have like old people problems like literally I have all the old people problems you can imagine and I also noticed that like you know your makeup looks better when you're actually looking forward so I got this mirror it I think it goes is it 22 inches it goes very high so like you can definitely like just sit straight up and look into the mirror and see your makeup and obviously if you, you can like tilt it up or down to like do your uh, mascara um, but it's great and it has both sides one's magnified one's not I will link it below if I can still find it I have been wanting to share this with you for a really long time, I literally just forget. I've had it for about maybe a year or two. It's just such a good mirror, but the fact that you can adjust it to a height that is comfortable for your back and for your neck, especially if you're like me and you spend like, I spend an hour every morning just because I can. I get my coffee and I sit there and I like play with new products. It's just like, you know, like if you're like me and it's like a process for you and it's like a meditative thing for you and you spend a lot of time doing your makeup, this mirror is so good. So I think we're just gonna wrap it up here. I'm pretty sure I've been talking for a really, really long time. So we're gonna see how much we can edit this down to. Let me know is something you're into if it is we'll definitely have to do it for separate in like a separate video it cannot be part of the vlog because i'm pretty sure this is going to take up the whole vlog okay guys so today was supposed to be like 85 and uh raining oh. instead it's 85 sunny dry perfection i am so excited um so I'm gonna run my errands real quickly, grab some groceries, go to CVS. I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna lay outside and bake my eczema and just, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so we've had food, so this has worn off. I know, I'm like, let's calm down a bit. I'm not, seriously, I was like this weekend, yesterday was like cold, it was like 45-ish, and then today it's 80, almost 85. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll put this gloss on a little bit. Just a touch up. Mm-hmm. So pretty. Guys, I'm so proud of myself for doing that kind of mini, mini get ready with me. You guys know, I mean, you guys know. That's like a big deal for me. Like, I like avoid it. Like, I, I don't want to set it up. I feel weird about editing, mm. you know? Like, I'm so self-conscious about that kind of thing guys it is hot outside let me show you what i got okay i went to cvs because insurance gave another five dollars so awesome i'm like okay cool let's keep going to cvs five dollars plus five dollars extra bucks plus 25 percent off purchase coupon plus two dollars off paper towels <laughs> so we got a roll of paper towels for nine no 49 cents awesome Finally found the Pantene dry shampoo, guys. Very excited for this. I picked up two of the Herbal Essences dry shampoo in the white grapefruit and Mos Mosa Mint. This smells so good. I hope it works good. The reviews are kind of like up in the air. The other one is the cucumber something, which did not smell as good. And then lastly, this mm, Jumbo SPF 50 spray cvs brand so it was what nine dollars for 10 ounces and then 25 percent off very excited very very excited oh and these glasses are the tom ford arenas some people hate them i love them because they're huge and polarized so super good for the sun groceries this is my favorite cream of mushroom i don't know i grew up on this we used to have this with rice all the time it is so like nostalgic and 
like what's the word comfort food got some baby arugula my favorite green i would probably just have this as just salad the chobani greek yogurt strawberry this is really good <laughs> i had it got it last time um you guys gave me a lot of recs but i just went to like a local grocery today so they weren't gonna have the more niche brands string cheese love amish valley i have some gold klondike gold dust <laughs> potatoes some of this i'm gonna put into the curry that i'm making now and then the rest of it is gonna be for potato salad i've got the dahlia onion to go in the potato salad celery and cottage cheese okay so i have my one can of cream of mushroom i did half a cup of water and then half and half the cremini and button mushrooms in the pan with butter some butter and olive oil i'll do some black pepper later so the soup is done i could have been exerted more finesse and did some more finely chopped mushrooms but i like um I don't know, mushroom chunks. So we've got our Trader Joe's Thai red curry sauce. I had a little taste of this. I was like, eh, it's okay. So I'm gonna add like a whole can of coconut milk because you know, that's just gonna make it a bajillion times better. So I have about a little less than half an onion cut up here, the Vidalia. I'm gonna put that in a pan. And then I have mushrooms. I've got boiled potatoes that I just did. And then I have cauliflower and broccoli that I boiled yesterday okay so threw some coconut oil in threw the onion in toss that around threw the coconut milk in and then the curry and then just piled in all the vegetables and we're just kind of letting it cook down and we are more or less set for the week along with some salad we got yogurt and okay so you know how I was like so excited that I didn't have to work this weekend yeah on Monday, I was there till 9 p.m. P.m. guys, it's like almost, that's like more than 12 hours. That's like a lot of working. <laughs> but let me share some packages with you. Today is now Wednesday? Wednesday. So I have a lot of packages that have come in since Monday, I guess. So let me share them. Three more of these Makeup Forever palettes because they're hard to get. One of the freebies was the Bite Beauty lip pencil in number 22. So I'm really excited because this is the one color I kind of wanted, so now we have it. Um, we have this Touche Eclat Blur Perfector. This is from, this is PR, so I did not buy this, but oof. Look that compact. Oh my god, how do people do this? I'm gonna sip. So you have a primer. Um, I'm hoping to use this more of kind of like a touch-up primer, you know, because it's very handy. Um, we'll try it all over the place. I mean, obviously we'll review it. I finally got one of the Ultimate bronzer Bronzers. I got it in Terra, the kind of, um, the Gelee formula. I have it on my vanity. I'm, I've been using it and I like it. I don't know why people are saying that they can't get any pigment off of it because I totally have. I have a ColourPop order here. I picked up BFF2, the lip pencil, because it's my favorite. Um, and then I got a um, blotted lip. I got it in the shade Candy Floss. I like this formula. It literally just looks the way your, your lips would look after you've blotted them, which, as you guys know, is like my favorite um, way to wear all lip products. Okay, so ColourPop also... Oh, well, they were doing 20% off. That's why I picked up some of these things. Otherwise, I probably generally just kind of like wait on it. But this is the, is this double take? Double take, double play, double play. This is the double play um, duo and you have a highlighter and a kind of peachy blush. I was looking at how much product you get in here. In this one, you get seven and a half grams of each item. And then I have the Alexis Ren collab. This one, I'm, I can't wait to, to see like what this one looks like on. I haven't played with it yet, but you get 10 grams of the bronzer and 7 grams of the highlight. Like that is so much product. And I got these for 12 bucks, right? Yeah, 12 bucks when they retail for what, 15 usually? We've got this Sol de Janeiro. You guys know how much I've been loving this brand. Um, This is their foot care. I was reading the reviews about it. I was obsessed with this, this, whatever, this foot file. Why are they? Oh my God, first of all, it's cute because it's a, it's a surfboard. I'm touching it. it is very abrasive we'll see excited for this because literally i wore flip-flops the other day and i'm like this is not that cute so we have to play with that a little bit and then lastly 
from by Terry. This is also PR. That's also PR. We have the Stylo Black Star, or is it Stilo Black Star in Copper Crush? There's the shade. I'm excited, guys. You know how much I love Bronze Moon. Like, Bronze Moon is Holy Grail for me. So, this is the Stilo Black Star, not the Ombre Black Star. 